so. Fucking right. watching these guys. two hours in on our first day and hiking around the side of the mountain through the beaver pond across the creek hiking up all over this brush and old man Rick's kicking my ass hiking but uh, yeah it's going pretty good we're sitting right at the base of the mountain figure another two and a half hours up there and set up our camp up there and hopefully find some ramps later on today Oh, yeah, it goes up a little bit here. The old hill bird, but just like normal. Get some rain, you got lots of fog. Freshwater shrimp. Running fall finally. Yeah. We got up here pretty late last night. Uh, got some food in us and got a good night's sleep. Pretty socked in this morning, so we came up here on the hill a little later. And the fog been rolling in and out, but we can see the mountain pretty good. Just keep an eye out for the sheep and kind of figure out where they're at so hopefully we can get a game plan for in the morning and Luke can get up here and get a spot on them and catch up with us and we can start heading up the mountain. It's pretty good when you can see a guy like this the day before the opener. Pretty exciting. Here's the guy that's going to shoot number one. What do you think man? You ready? Oh I'm ready. We're just uh, praying for some good weather in the morning hopefully. Fog's not rolled in too thick, and we can spot them real quick and get up there to them. Tell me what just found. Just over the hill here. Where at? He's about to. He's just down there. <laughs> down near the bottom. Oh, Could be a bit yeah. of an epic recovery. So if you want to take a look, we go down, we're going to head down there. All right. We'll see you back at camp in a day or two. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Fucking stone of a lifetime, man. What do you, what do you think? <laughs> hey, I'm going to shed a tear with you, man. <laughs> I can't even describe how awesome this is. And, uh, you know, number one, thank God for letting me be up here. Uh, ever since I started hunting, you know, eight years old, watching TV and all these guys, uh, sheep hunting's like, everybody knows it's the pinnacle of hunting. And uh, so fortunate in my career, my 
my life, and everybody's letting me come up here to do it. Put a head and grave for my cousin. You know, it says in memory of Nicholas Charles, Charles Bruland, and uh, has his birth date and the date he left Let's us. Drive it. So, I recommend everyone that loves hunting to number one, create time, take some time off work. Um, hopefully, your family supports you in it. Um, number two, you know, work hard towards your goals. You know, I. It took me a long time to become a journeyman lineman, and, uh, and I'm kind of reaping the rewards of it now. And uh, the time off, the money I can make, um, my little brother who's with me every step of the way, pushing me, getting me in shape, out in the hills hiking with me all summer, you know. Uh, he's my best friend, and uh, he really pushes me to do this stuff. Um, yeah, just everybody in this industry that's just been nothing but friends to me, you know. So, yeah, everybody should make time for this kind of stuff. And I really recommend coming up in BC. This is exactly what I pictured, you know. It's just Good news? crazy. Oh, mountains. yeah. He's yes. fucking way down there. Yeah, we got him. Brother. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Yes. That's a cannon. Oh, yeah, buddy. Good job, That's man. a big fucker, eh? Jonas, we got it filming right now. Oh, tell, him what, tell him what you just did, dude. No, tell him. Get right here. Get right here. Everybody's part of this, man. Oh, it's, man. What a beauty. What a dandy. Uh, yeah, the double header. It worked. Congrats. <laughs> we, we snuck in on them and, and uh, shot these and shot both these rams. And mine's down there, but this one's uh, this is a cannon. I think the other one's a great ram as well. So I, uh, that was an amazing hunt all the way around. <laughs> this guy I can't think enough. Oh, awesome. This guy was fun. Hunter, oh, doesn't get yeah. any better than that. Is that where you guys met? In the Yukon. Could be 12, eh? Could be. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve-year-old Ram. Wide one? Yeah, he's a wide one. Warm enough? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna see a full throttle here, Hunter. Uh, Mock chicken okay. with the backpack. Let's see it. Mock chicken with a backpack. Oh, this is a cock sucker. It's probably not slippery though. No. Oh no. No, not at all. Down <laughs> back, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 